Ah, YouTube. It's me. I missed you. Do you miss me? Hello from the other side. I figure we start every vlog with a sick pop culture snippet. And since Adele's a queen, you gotta let her in. Um, welcome. Give the thing a thumbs up, man. Spread the love, dude. I don't know where all y'all at in your life and your fitness journey. Obviously, I've been on and off YouTube for eight years, but I do want to entertain and educate the best I can. So if y'all hang out, I just did a set. I know it sounds like I'm having a heart attack. I literally just did a set. But if you comment below what you want to see, training vlogs are staying, I'm having a good time reconnecting, and a little bit of a challenge re reigniting the uh, channel, but we're, we're there. Um, I've been thinking about it. And to not go too deep or philosophical, but we always have this, and I used to be guilty of it, talking about progress and like preaching progress and always chasing progress. And, like the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of success, the pursuit of strength, the pursuit of fat loss, the pursuit of muscle gain. I think it's all great. And I think it's important to have goals. I think it's important to put one foot in front of the other. But what I think can get lost, at least for me and maybe some of the other kind of people that are wired like me, perfectionist type folks that, that there's no destination, right? And so in this philosophical realm, success, happiness, we expect to, to get there and just like, like it's a door you open and you're there, but that's just obviously not the case, right? But in terms of fitness, it's more applicable. There's so many videos, books, eBooks, guilty, on fat loss, on muscle gain, on nutrition for both of those, and performance. There's not a lot of talking about maintenance. When should you have a maintenance phase? Why? How? Is it important? Same with lifting. Always about new PR. New inch on my biceps so I could get a girlfriend to take me to the movies because my arms are 17s now and not 16s. Sorry, that was high school Mikey getting sad. But why not just like maintain strength or, or, or have the journey of being healthy and feeling good? Do I have to deadlift 800 pounds? Or could I just deadlift 500-ish reps and slowly get better if not maintain because I am a human that has other goals or other, my attention has to go elsewhere or, or just feel good? What's wrong with just feeling good? And these are all things I struggle with and this is how my brain works and that's why I'm sharing it with y'all. But like, I have issues enjoying the process. I have issues not looking towards the future. I have issues maintaining anything. I always want to grow. I always want to be better. And I think that's what drives me to be who I am. But it, it can be a detriment to my mentals. Um, and so I think I'd like to be 20 pounds lighter. And let's put that out there. But I think, generally speaking, my training is going well because I'm not putting that pressure on me. I'm not putting that pressure on my diet. I'm not putting that pressure on my fitness. And it's holiday months, so I, I tend to just try to enjoy that as best as I can. But talking about optimal splits in my training right now, um, I'm training four days a week. Boom, bada sping, bada boom. I'm not powerlifting. I'm just moving, I'm feeling it. I try to do a deadlift and a pull day on Monday, a bench and a push day on Tuesday, a deadlift variation and a pull day on Thursday, a push day and variation on Friday. Four to five times a week, I wanna get my heart rate up and sweat a little bit. So during those training days, it's afterwards. Uh, Wednesday, sometimes I'll sneak one in if I'm feeling a little lethargic. I'll just get on the elliptical or the bike and move around a little bit. And I'm, I guess, I, I don't wanna say like I'm maintaining because it has such a negative aura around it, but it's not negative to me. Maintaining means I'm not going backwards. And as long as we're not going backwards, I think I'm going forward. Look, I know I'm not Tony Robbins and all y'all's favorite motivational guy who's waking up at 4 a.m. telling you to crush the iron paradise, but I'm an average dude that gets after it in many aspects of my life, and I am trying to improve who I am. I'm mean, trying to improve my mental. I'm trying to improve my business and my community here at Third Street. So my lifting is just gonna take back seat for now. We're buckling up little Timmy in the back. I'm gonna stay healthy, I'm gonna stay feeling good. Um, today's the variation day, so welcome to the training vlog. I'm gonna go hit some snatch grip deadlifts, uh, dance in a little longer cardio, and then we got back and buys. Welcome, sit back, enjoy, buckle in, grab your favorite snack. Let's party. <laughs> 